Greetings, this is Mr. Kaslin. I want to go over a pre-calculus word problem with you today having to do with uh, equations of parabolas. All right. What the problem asks for is it says a bridge is to be built in the shape of a parabolic arch and is to have a span of 100 feet. The height of the arch, which is a distance of 40 feet from the center, is to be 10 feet. Find the height of the arch at its center. Okay, like all word problems, it's probably best to draw a picture of what's going on. So a, a bridge is going to be a, a really flat parabola so that the cars can drive over it. <clears throat> but it needs to be high enough for the, the boats to go under. Um, so what have they told us? They've told us, um, if you think of a bridge, you have to picture the parabola being upside down. Okay, so it's a parabola that is centered on the y-axis and it's flipped down. So we know that in the equations of parabolas we're dealing with a y is equal to x squared where p is going to be negative. Now you can put negative in your formula and when you solve for p it will be positive or if you make p positive in your formula when you solve for p, p will be negative. Hopefully that makes sense and your teacher can tell you which, 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 which he, he or she prefers. Okay, so we looked at this problem the other day and we said, well, we have some information about a point on the parabola. We know when you're 40 feet away, the height is 10. And we're lo what we're looking for is we're looking for, let's consider this to be our y-axis. Okay, so when x is 0, we're looking for the height of the bridge, or the height of this arch. Okay, the problem is we don't know the height. This is the vertex of our parabola, so we know the vertex is at 0k. Now, when we went to go solve this problem the other day, we, we put the what we knew into our equation. So we said x, excuse me, we know what x is. We're going to take the x from this point over here. So we have 40 minus h. Well, h is 0. That's the x-coordinate of our vertex squared is equal to 4p. Now some teachers use a. I just don't like to use a because that makes me think of stretch and shrink. Um, it's related to that, but I, uh, I'm going to use the, the p as our uh, the variable that we where we find our focus in our directrix. All right. Now we, the problem is here. What's our y value? Well, our y value is Our y value is 10 from this point over here. So sorry, let me, so we're, we're using this 40 and this 10 as our point, and we're using these points of our vertex. Okay, so we have 10 minus k. Now we got stuck here the other day because we still have two, we have one equation with two variables. Okay, what we fail to realize is, okay, when you have two variables still, what you need is two equations. So what, you, what we have to realize is there's another point over here, right? We're told that the bridge spans 100 feet, so we know from the center this location is 50, 0. So we have another point on our arch. At 50, 0. And what we can do is build a new equation with this point. Okay? So we can say 50 minus h. Well, h is still 0 squared is equal to 4p now the y value of our point on the parabola is 0 minus k. Okay, so what we have here is we have what we call a system of equations. We have two equations, we have two variables, then you'll just solve. We'll clean these up a little bit. 40 squared is 1600. And this is going to be what? We're going to distribute 
40p minus Four pk. Um, we're going to simplify this other equation. We've got twenty-five hundred is equal to. Well, we've got zero minus four pk. Okay. Now remember what your choices are for system of equations. You can use substitution, elimination. Well, you're, you're going to learn in pre-calc that you can use matrices. I think for here, elimination is your best bet. We can just subtract these equations. Okay, or make everything, turn everything opposite, and then add them together. So these will cancel. You're going to get 40p is equal to, this will be what? negative 900. Now our parabola went down, we expected a negative, p. since p is positive in this formula, we expected a negative p. So p is equal to uh, negative 900 over 40. Um, that simplifies to what, negative 45 over 2, I believe. Okay, now we found our p, we're going to plug p in and now we've got an equation where we have an x, we can plug in an x, we can plug in a y, we can plug in a p, we can solve for k. I'll leave the rest of that up for you. Plug it all in and you're going to get a height of around approximately, it's going to be approximately 28 feet high. Okay, so what we failed to realize was, yes, we set up an equation said, it was either this one or this one, it said, hmm, we have two variables, uh, but we only have one equation, how do we solve that? Well. In this problem, we have two points. We can create two equations. Two equations with two variables means simultaneous equations. You can solve those substitution or elimination. Uh, word problems are tricky. You just have to um, battle through them, read all your information, realize how many unknowns you have. And if you have more than one unknown, well, then you need to create more than one equation. I hope this helps. Thanks.